Welcome, 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 welcome to this training. This is going to be a value pack training. This is going to be a training that's going to give you the three secrets to getting a hundred plus thousand in business credit and financing in as little as 30 days. Now, why do I have this title? This title has come from me being able to help individuals get business credit cards and financing in less than 30 days, totaling over a hundred thousand in business credit and financing. And I'm going to show you examples of that in this training. And also I'm going to give you a lot of gems and a lot of golden nuggets that you may have not heard before or webinars or even masterclasses about business credit and business financing. So, this is gonna be really good because if you pay attention to this webinar, you could possibly go out there and start getting your first credit cards for your business and other business funding options very quickly if you really follow the formula and the things that we're telling you in this training. So this is a proven formula that has helped hundreds of entrepreneurs successfully build business credit and how any business can use it to access unlimited business credit and also financing as well. There are many different types of business financing. It's not just business credit cards or business lines of credit. There are a bunch of different types of business financing and we'll talk more about that in this training. So this webinar is for you if you are looking for money to start or grow your business, obviously because you are on this training, you want high limit credit accounts and loans that aren't linked to your personal credit. And when I say that aren't linked to your personal credit, that means that they do not show up on your personal credit profiles. So for example, if you get a $10,000 business credit card and you max out that business credit card, if that particular business credit card was to report to your personal credit, that would actually drop down your personal credit score because of the high utilization. But the credit cards and the other types of business funding that I'm gonna talk to you about in this training are gonna be the ones that actually do not report to your personal credit at all, unless you default, of course, and they'll report to the business credit reporting agencies and it will help you get more credit to be able to continue to start stacking that funding and getting more and more credit cards as you build your business credit history. So you want the easy and fastest way to get the most money for your business. So here's just a little brief introduction about me. I'm not gonna do a big long introduction about me like a lot of people do in their webinars or master classes or free trainings because I believe you're here to get value and get a lot of information about the topic that we're supposed to be talking about in this training. And you don't wanna hear me talk about myself for 20 to 30 minutes. So I'm a full-time entrepreneur. I've been a full-time entrepreneur for eight years. I have done a few different business options or business types online, such as network marketing, as well as e-commerce and affiliate marketing. I started off with the network marketing, then I moved over to e-commerce, which is where I actually started to get my first real results online. And I was able to start making full-time income with e-commerce. But something happened with that e-commerce business. So I had a Shopify store. I started off doing Amazon and eBay drop shipping and then moved over to Shopify where I had my own store and I had my own brand. But the problem with that was that we were drop shipping from China. So we would get products from China and brand them, or we would get already branded products for, from China, from China and resell them at retail prices. But the problem with that was the suppliers that we were working with could not handle the demand because I was getting a lot of orders, especially around the holidays. I was getting thousands of orders and they couldn't keep up with that demand. And so when we tried to order in bulk, they still couldn't keep up with the demand of the orders. And so they were sending out bad quality products and we lost a lot of money 
But here's the thing, at that time, I didn't know anything about credit and I didn't know anything about business credit. Had I known about business credit back then, I could have saved my e-commerce business. And so that situation is what led me to getting into the credit and business credit education space because I was never taught about personal credit or business credit. So that's just a little backstory of how I got into this industry. So I've helped over 200 business owners get loans and credit from different sources. I've helped them build business credit as well as obtain loans for their businesses. And you're gonna see some examples of this in this training. I've taught thousands of business owners how to get business loans and business credit online on YouTube and free trainings like this. I've also taught thousands of people how to make money online. I started doing that years ago. I was teaching people also how to do e-commerce, how to build their own stores and how to make sales with their Shopify stores using Facebook ads and Google ads. I've also helped hundreds of business owners generate leads and sales online. And that is via social media YouTube and some of my courses. So why most people fail trying to get money to grow their business? So number one, many do not know that business credit can be built without affecting their personal credit, which simply means that a lot of people still don't realize that you can build your business credit and be able to get business credit cards, lines of credit, and other types of business financing without it again, showing up on your personal credit profiles and hurting your personal credit because business credit and personal credit are two different things and they don't work the same. So when it comes to business credit, if you use up your line of credit or your credit card, if you max it out, that's not going to really hurt you like it would on the personal side. So it's very important to know which credit cards actually only report to the business credit bureaus because there are some credit cards for your business that you can get that actually still report on the personal side. Capital One is one of them. I also believe TD Bank also has a business credit card that reports on the personal side as well. So you have to be aware of that. Many don't understand also the process of building business credit or getting business credit. Many entrepreneurs don't know that money is available based on their business strength. So the purpose of this training is to help you get access to unlimited capital through business credit. Now, of course, the title of this training is the three secrets to getting 100K in as little as 30 days. But truthfully, when you go through the process and you start getting that initial credit and you begin to use it and start building up your business credit profiles, you can start to get more and more funding, more and more credit, and it really is unlimited. You don't really have a limit once you show that your business is credit worthy and you can pay back those business credit cards or those lines of credit, so on and so forth help you get your first 100,000, get approved even if you think there's no way you can. So if you're attending this training, most likely you try to do things the hard way, like go to the bank and hope you get approved without knowing what you need to get approved, apply for credit cards and pray that you get approved, get lost with online loan options, get turned down again and again and not know why, also having no idea, which simply just means that you don't have your business set up properly. So I'm going to reveal the solution to all of this in this training in 90 minutes or less. So here's some proof of results from one of my clients. This client was able to get $42,000 from Divi, another $20,000 from Chase, and another $50,000 with combined, we got this from a credit union, a local credit union where his business is located. He was able to get 20,000 on a credit card, 30,000 on a line of credit. So it totaled $50,000 from the credit union. So in total, he got all of this in the month of June, 2023. In total, he got $12,000 in one month. So what we'll cover in this free training 
is things about personal credit, what you need to know about your personal credit to be able to get approved for business credit if you would like to leverage your personal credit, if you have good credit. Also, the types of business credit, because there are two types of business credit, and we're gonna go over that. Also, business credit facts, and then the three secrets of business credit. So we're gonna start with the personal credit. So we're gonna briefly go over this section. So you really need to pay attention because a lot of people really don't explain this to people when they're talking about business credit and how to actually get approved. So on the personal credit side, it is recommended that you have at least a 680. Now there are some credit unions and some banks will approve you with as low as a 650 or a 660. But if you are under a 680, you wanna definitely be building up that credit score, adding some positive accounts. Do not add too many, cause that's gonna affect you getting approved as well. But add a positive account to boost that credit score up to that 680 range or above. And if you have a score that's under 650, you probably want to consider going the no PG route, which means that you are just strictly building business credit without having to leverage your personal credit and you're able to get different cards and, and lines of credit that are no PG. We'll talk about that in a couple of minutes. But if you have good credit and you wanna go to Chase, Bank of America, US Bank, or any mid-sized banks or even credit unions to get credit right away and you wanna start leveraging your personal credit, you wanna at least have five open accounts that are at least two years old. You don't wanna to have too many new accounts because that could also get you denied. So that average age of accounts should be good. You wanna have that to be as high as possible as well as less than three inquiries in the last six months. So you don't wanna have a bunch of new inquiries. If you do, you wanna get those removed before applying. You wanna also have low utilization, less than 30% overall on all across all of your revolving lines of credit on your credit report, low debt to income ratio, I already mentioned that too many accounts may get you a denial. And then collections, of course, you wanna get those removed. So if you are in the situation to where you have collections or a recent late payment or even a lien judgment or a bankruptcy, you want to get those items removed before trying to go to your bank or a local credit union or any bank to get a credit card because they're going to pull your personal credit and they're gonna be looking for these things. But again, you still can get financing. Even if you have bad credit, you have to have one of the other business strengths that we're gonna talk about in this training, or you can do the no PG route. So again, if your personal scores are low and you have negative items, get those negative items removed, add a positive account, not too many, add a credit builder account such as maybe kickoff lending. Grain has a credit builder account where they can approve you up to a thousand dollar line of credit and it's gonna be based up off of your personal checking account history. So they're gonna analyze that to see what your income is and your cash flow is. And based upon that, they're going to give you a line of credit and report to all three of the business credit bureaus. You can also get a credit partner. So what a credit partner is, is someone, it could be a friend, a family member, or it could be your business partner who has good credit. That could be the one to apply for the credit cards for the business but they have to own at least 25% of the business. So if you want to temporarily put a friend, a family member, or get a business partner, even if it is just temporary, as a temporary partner, you can add them to your, your corporation as a partner at minimum 25% ownership. And they could be the ones to actually do the credit applications for the business. So will this work for you? I'm here to tell you that business credit is the only financial solution that you can get regardless of cash flow, collateral, or credit. Now, the reason why I say regardless of credit is because there's two types of business credit. One of those types, 
you can get regardless of cash flow, collateral, or credit. This means that any business can obtain it, even startups. So the two types of business credit, there is no EIN only business credit, or some people call it corp only credit. It's really, it's still business credit. There's way too much debate, confusion, and misunderstanding on Instagram and, and YouTube and all the other social media platforms about business credit because everybody wants to try to get you to buy their ebook or something of that nature. But the truth is, it's still business credit because businesses use it. They're the only ones that could use it. You can't use it as a person, an individual, or anything. So there's no PG EIN only business credit. And then there's PG business credit. This is the credit where you could leverage your personal credit to start getting business credit cards from Chase Bank of America, AMX, such and such. Your personal credit is the collateral because the kicker is if you default, even though it don't show up on your personal credit, if you default, it will show up on your personal credit as a charge off or a collection. So here are the facts about business credit. No effect on your personal credit if you keep your business credit cards and business credit account in good standing. Business credit is fast to build. It's very fast to start building. You have greater borrowing ability once you have both consumer and personal credit. So if you just have consumer credit, you can get credit, of course, but once you have both your personal credit profiles in good standing and you have business credit profiles in good standing, you are able to get more funding and more financing than you would if you just had one of these only. The limits can be 10 to 100 times higher than consumer credit. You can get approved even if you can't get a bank loan or even if you are a startup. Access to loans and lines of credit means you can fund your business using your profits to grow and you have a competitive advantage versus the other business owners who don't really have any financing or any lines of credit. You can get business credit as long as you have a business in the United States. You can build your business credit for multiple businesses. You can have multiple LLCs, S Corps or C Corps and get business credit for each one of those entities. You can also do it for nonprofits. So the business credit quality determines if you'll get approved for a business loan. So winning, when getting a business loan, they will look at your business credit reports. They typically will look at either ex business or they will look at the small business FICO. Yes, your business will have a FICO score, just like your personal credit has a FICO score. Also, if you ever need an SBA loan, they check the small business FICO for approvals. So you may hear some people say, it's pointless to build business credit or you don't need business credit. Well, I'm here to tell you it's better to have it than to not have it because more and more banks are starting to check both personal credit and business credit. So why not build it? It's not going to hurt you. It's going to help you more than it would actually hurt you because you never know what you need to do in the future. And having that good business credit profile is going to open up many doors for you because lots of companies check your business credit profiles. It's not just about credit or getting lines of credit. You may need to do something with the government or get some type of government loan or some type of government assistance for your business some of those programs do require that they check your business credit history. So it is better to build your business credit and not listen to these so-called gurus all over the internet saying that you don't need to worry about bu building your business credit. It's better to do it than to not do it. You can be denied financing based on business credit quality even if you have no business credit established. Let's look at some actual reports. So you can be issued a failing score for your business even if you have no credit reporting because you look unestablished or possibly on the verge of filing bankruptcy. So here's an example of a failing business credit score. This is from Experian. This is the Intella score. This is a 28, which is gonna show a medium risk that's in the yellow, 
A six is a high risk. So the scores go from one to 100. And then also Experian gives creditors credit line recommendations. So if your score is looking like this and is recommending that you have a $1,000 credit limit, then that's what the the bank that you may be applying with, they may see that and they be like, you know what, we probably won't approve you because of this. Or if they take a chance, they may only give you Experian is recommending. Now, as you see on the right, this score of six that's showing here is also saying that the factors of this is what we mean when if you don't have anything on your reports, you could have negative score. So even one account reporting, which you can immediately apply for and get after this training. Matter of fact, you can do it during this training, but I would wait after this training so you get all the information first. You can go from no score or a failing score to a great score and start becoming more lendable. So this is what a good score looks like. 96, low risk. And then the financial stability risk, 55 is low to medium and they're recommending 2,500 credit line. So the average age of commercial accounts. So they have one account reporting and with that one account reporting that gave them a good credit score with Experian. As you continue to grow, the business reporting agencies recommend you for more and more money, helping you get higher approvals on business credit cards, loans, and lines of credit. So you can go from this to this and from this to this. So this is showing a credit account and a net 30 account giving them that recommended 2,500 score, or I mean credit limit. And then with three accounts, so you can see here that this one has a $15,000 recommendation. And this is what's reporting three different trade lines. See how easy that is? The more you get, the more they recommend. All you have to do is literally just pay it on time. That's how the business credit reports work is really just the on-time payments is really not about utilization or anything like that. It's more about your payment history. So this one has a $65,000 recommendation. This one has a $24,000 recommendation. But as you can see on this report, they have a few net 30s, some revolving accounts, and then you can see they have a credit limit of over 400,000 and they're currently using, at the time of this report, 100,000 of that. So here are the three secrets of business credit. Secret number one is going to be lender compliance. So this is how you actually make your business lendable, how to stop denials and get automated approvals to have lenders basically want to chase after you because you have a lendable business that looks good, that looks low risk. So secret number two is the business credit blueprint. This is a very exciting secret. So keep watching, don't click off, just stay focused and stay with me. So how to use the exact same step-by-step -step blueprint, all the large companies use to get unlimited business credit. So yes, you can get 100,000 up to 100,000 in as little as 30 days, but what do you do after that? Can you get more credit after that? Yes, you can. Really, the possibilities are limitless. It's unlimited business funding, business credit opportunities out there for you to be able to fund your business. And it's not just the big banks that everybody knows about. So secret number three is going to be how to actually go out there and access unlimited business funding. So secret number one, we're gonna stop those denials. So step one is to know exactly what lenders want. So the number one thing that you can do to secure the best loan to make sure your business looks like it's a low risk business, make it look like it's a low risk borrower to lenders. And this is a quote from Bankrate. So here's another one, this one is from Forbes. This one says, why would one industry qualify for more overall funding than another? Lenders consider businesses with some industries to be less risky and more likely to repay their debts. So this is a quote from Forbes. So there is a such thing as high risk 
industries, medium and low risk industries. You want to be in that low risk industry and you don't want to indicate to the banks that you are a high risk. And we talk more about that in a second. So step two of secret number one is to structure your business the right way. This goes again along with lender compliance. Make sure your company is set up the right way. You want to make sure that your business name for starters does not include words like real estate, broker, capital, credit, dating, debt, adult, collections, fitness, insurance, lending, liquor, loan, media, mortgage, pawn, psychic. Those are just a few of the words that indicate that you are in a high risk industry. You want to keep these words out of your business name. You want to go for more of a general business name that does not indicate that you are in a high risk industry. So even if you are a real estate company, you do real estate, you want to probably have a company name like John Smith Enterprises, for example, that would be a generic or a general name that would not indicate that you're in the real estate industry. Step two of secret number one, part two, this still goes along with the compliance. Make sure that you have these things, a business phone number, a real business phone number, and you want to list that phone number with the directories, the 411 directories, also a professional website, domain and email. So for example, you do not want to use enterprises at gmail.com. You want to have something maybe like admin come for the email and your website address would be enterprises.com. Also, you want to make sure that you have the proper licensing for your industry is going to vary by state and by industry. Some states will require, for example, For example, if you are in retail, that you get a seller's permit license, for example. Also, make sure that you have the proper S codes and EIN as well as your business checking account. Also, a really quick tip or golden nugget here is you want to actually make sure that you have all of this planned out before you even file for your LLC. So make sure that you already purchase your business phone number and you already have your website, domain, and email. Make sure that this is already available before you go and file for your LLC with your Secretary of State. Make sure that you have the proper NIS codes, which we'll talk about here in a second, and you wanna have also your business address, which this should be on this list. Have all that together before you file because you don't wanna have to go back and update your address, your phone number, and all of that, because that could be a hassle because one of the compliance standards is that your information be matching everywhere. You don't want to have one address listed on the Secretary of State and then you have a totally different one on your EIN documents and then a whole nother address on your website. You want to have the same address, same phone number matching everywhere so that you can get those automatic approvals. A lot of times people don't realize they get denied because they can't match your business information. Your business information is mismatched with the Secretary of State. It doesn't match with what you have on your application. It doesn't match with what you have on your EIN documents because lenders are able to pull that information automatically using their systems and their technology. So right now I'm inside of my software that helps you do all of the steps for lender compliance, getting approved, optimizing your personal and business credit reports, as well as building your business credit, getting access to different banks, as well as no PG business credit accounts and more. But I'll talk to you about that a little bit later. Right now, I'm going to show you where you can get these lender compliance items. So as far as your business address, you can go to places like DaVinci, Opus, Alliance or, but DaVinci and Opus are going to be the top ones. Now here's another gem. If you choose iPostal, you want to stay away from addresses that link to pack and ship locations, mail drop locations, or Staples locations. So for example, say for instance, my business is in 
Nevada, located in Henderson. I also has one address available for this particular city. If you click on more details, you'll be able to see the, the features of this location and the price, the standard price is $9.99. I know the price is appealing, but you do not wanna go with a address like this because I'm gonna show you why. If you Google, let's Google this address. So bingo, this address is going to show up as a as Alliance shipping partner connected to Staples. This is a big no-no and this will be a red flag to lenders and it will make your business look as if your business is not legitimate. So do not get addresses like this. You wanna get addresses that are linked to actual office buildings, virtual addresses that are linked to real office buildings. Let me go back and let's see if we go here. Let's go back to Nevada and then let's go other Henderson section, they have 29. So the other part was the Green Valley section. They have 29 locations in Henderson. If you scroll down, you'll see all of these locations. Some of them will have pictures. If you click to enlarge, this one is tied to more of a storefront type of office building, which this one is okay, but I probably wouldn't use this one either. This one is 39. 99 per month and this is their prestige package so these ones for 9.99 these are the standard package addresses so click on if you click on the picture make sure you check it out to see what it looks like if it looks like a legitimate business address and what these plans will do as well is they will give you different options to where they will either provide additional services besides accepting your mail they may forward your mail to you. They scan your mail as well. And some of them may come with phone services. But let's look at this address again. We're gonna search up to see what it's showing. So this one is on, this is on Bing. Over here to Google. So this is what it looks like on Google. Three other businesses are using this address as well. So this one may be okay. But iPostal is my least favorite. This is a very cheap option if you're on a budget. But again, make sure that you're not getting one that is connected to a shipping location, a Staples, or anything like that because you can get denied with those kinds of addresses. The better option would be to go over to Comp. Type in your city and state. And you can get better addresses. These are virtual office spaces that are actually linked to real professional looking offices. So you are able to have more credibility. So you can choose a location. They have some that are as little as $50 per month. Click on view details. This one features, of course, your business address, use of the address on your cards, licensing, and website. One complimentary Minary to complete required U.S. Postal Form 3, mail receipt, mail forwarding, lobby greeter for your walk-in clients. So you can actually use this space as well if you need to do meetings. You can book time to do meetings in the office. So this is a cheaper option to actually supplement you actually paying for an office space and paying five, six, seven hundred dollars per month or even a thousand plus per month. You can use this for your meetings as you need it if that is required for your business. And then you have Opus. Now Opus, they will actually report to the business credit bureaus to help you build business credit as well. They come with a live receptionist to answer your phone calls. You get the mailing address, you get company phone and fax and call transferring as well as voicemail converted to email, fax to email, and of course, like I said, business credit building. So this is also another option. And right now, if you do the 12 month option, you get a month free. So those are the options that you can choose to get a business address. When it comes to the phones, you can use Ring Central, Grasshopper. I recommend Ring Central because they will do the 411 listing. They'll help you get your phone number listed as well, but you can also just go to listyourself.net and get yourself listed. They have a free trial and you can get it for as little as $30 per month. It also comes with text messaging 
and unlimited calling. And this one has a little bit more features. I would probably get this one if you are like doing consulting or anything that has to do with speaking with people on the phone on a consistent basis. You can record the calls. You also get a fax, online fax as well and more. So when it comes to the websites, you can just go to GoDaddy or Wix or even Squarespace to set that up. They'll help you set that up pretty quickly and connect your domain to your website. And then the end codes are very, very, very important. As well as the C, or I'm sorry, SIC codes. Now this is how you check the different classifications. You can go to SICcode.com and you can select, first select the SIC codes. The SIC code, so the SIC codes are used for classifying your business. So this was created back in 1938. The NAICS codes were established in 1997. So these are gonna be the ones that are more commonly used, especially like for government contracting. Some organizations still do use the SIC system and they still use the codes to classify businesses and to see if your business is in a high risk industry. So you wanna make sure that you have the proper SIC codes and in AICS codes, which is more commonly used with the government contracting, as well as on business credit applications, your business category is very important to determining whether if your business or whether or not your business is in a high risk industry. So C codes are more broad and NA codes are more specific classifications. So for example, if you are in engineering services, that is the broad classification, but there could be other, it could be more specific. Your business could be in the engineering category, but you could be an industry, a consultant in engineering. You could be a contractor, a general contractor in engineering. You could be in the air conditioning and heating, ventilation, construction, electrical, electronic, foundation. So understand that there are specific codes that you have to realize that it's more than just a broad category. So if you go over to N or S codes and click on look up directory, you'll be able to see the broad categories and click on it. So for example, like we mentioned before, Real estate is considered high industry. So we don't want to get an E-code. I'm sorry, it's so it's a long acronym to say N-A-I-C-S code in the real estate section or even finance and in, uh, insurance because that's high risk as well. But we can go to 50 and we could choose a more general code that wouldn't be more leaning towards something that would be high risk. So for example, a more specific code in this category that could be high risk could be offices of bank holding companies. So if you choose something like this, just know that this will be considered high risk because this has something to do with the lending industry or the banking industry. So you want to be as as possible for the NAICS codes. So step three of secret number one is to get and control your secret data and reports. So this is a screenshot of what a LexisNexis risk review looks like. So believe it or not, lenders also secretly also pull Nexus as part of their approval process because LexisNexis has something called a risk view report where they can see a score that gives you or gives on your personal history, personal credit history. And it's going to tell the bank whether or not you are a high risk borrower or not. So you might want to contact LexisNexis, get a hold of your report with them and see if they are reporting any derogatory information, negative information about you and get that cleaned up if they are. As well as of course, your personal reports with TransUnion, Equifax and Experian. Then once you have all of that together, all of your compliance standards together, as far as making sure your business is set up properly, making sure that you have your personal credit in order if you're going to leverage your personal credit 
you then will apply with confidence and start getting approved for different credit cards from AMX, Chase, your local credit unions, Bank of America, as you can see here, lots of approvals. So what type of business does this work for? This works for any type of business if it's done properly. You could be in the transportation, real estate, financial services, com, manufacturing, construction, technology, so on and so forth. Like I said before, you have to make sure that your business does not indicate that you are in a high risk industry. Even if you may be in the financial industry or the real estate industry, you want to make sure that you have the proper set up with your business. Make sure that business name does not have anything that says you do real estate in it. It shouldn't say real estate in the name. You wanna make sure that you have the proper NIS or N codes to indicate a general category that is not in the high risk category. So if your company name is like John Smith Enterprises, you can put your ICS code in the category of general management. So when you go through to fill out those applications, you're not selecting when they say what industry you're in, what business is your industry in, you're not selecting, you don't wanna select a high risk category. So that's how to make your business fundable to get those automatic approvals. Now the business credit blueprint. This is what you've been waiting for. This is the same blueprint that large companies use to get unlimited business credit and funding. Step one of secret number two is to start getting immediate credits. You can apply for at least three credit accounts. You can do one round of funding if you want to use your personal credit. If you wanna be a personal guarantee to start getting your first business credit cards, you can start off with these banks that I'm going to mention here. So these banks do offer no doc, which means if you are a startup, you can get these credit cards without showing any tax returns or proof of income at all. You need to make sure that you have good credit. You need to make sure that you have a 680 for these banks. You need to make sure that you have at least bare minimum a 680. Preferred though that you have a score in the 700s. So Chase would be the first bank that offers 0% interest credit cards with no documentation. As I showed you at the beginning of the training, one of my clients received 20,000 from them and that was actually their first approval. The next one would be US Bank. Now with US Bank, you would need to start a relationship with them. They are more of a relationship bank. Open up a business checking account with them if you wanna get their credit card. A credit card that has 0% interest for up to 18 billing cycles. Another one could be Citibank as well. Now if you have credit that you're still working on and you can't go the personal guarantee route, you can start off building your business credit profiles very quickly with no PG accounts using Office Garner, for example, and Crown Office Supply. So Ecredible, they are going to be a company that's going to help you report your business phone number, or not phone number, your business bills and utilities to the business credit reporting agencies to help you jumpstart your business credit profiles. They report to Dun & Bradstreet, Experian, Equifax, and Credit Safe, I believe. Gardner, you can go there to start getting supplies for your business, such as different electronics, different office supplies. They also have marketing material that you could purchase, websites that you can purchase, and not have to pay them for 30 days. So that would be considered a net 30 account. And then Crown Office Supplies is also similar to Office Garner. They are a net 30 account as well. These accounts, you do not need to have any prior business credit reporting history to get approved. So these are starter accounts that you can get immediately today after watching this training. Now that's if you already have your business set up properly already. Step two of secret number two is to start monitoring those business credit reports. And you could do that at nav.com. You'll be able to pull all three of your business credit reports depending on the subscription that you get. You can also 
give a business credit trade line reporting to all three of those business credit reporting agencies, the major ones, Dun & Bradstreet, Experian, and Equifax. And also, depending on which subscription you get, they will also help you with building your small business FICO score to help you get approved for business loans. So you keep an eye on your business credit reports and start watching those scores start to generate. After that, you want to wait 30 days. If you are doing the PG route, you don't wanna apply for a bunch of credit cards at once and get a bunch of inquiries. And then also you want to get those inquiries from the banks that you did not get approved from removed by either calling the credit bureaus or you could send letters to the credit bureaus to get those removed. If you're going the no PG route, then you don't have to worry about any inquiries on your personal credit. You still want to wait before you apply for more accounts. So those other accounts that you applied for in the first round begin to report. So wait until you start getting scores generated to move on to getting more accounts. So this is what we used to have to do before all this information, we used to apply for credit blindly and get denied. Then we try again and make some progress and then get more denials and try to guess who's gonna approve us and guess wrong and end up getting denied again. And then you may end up racking up a bunch of inquiries and that's really going to get you denied if you have a bunch of recent inquiries on your personal credit. And then some of you may have gotten frustrated and just quit altogether. So here's a new better way. Here's some approvals here different approvals from Chase, PNC, business credit cards, and Bank of America, all of that. So again, this is for all industries, for-profit and non-profit, non-resident owners. As long as your business is in the United States, you can live in a different country, but as long as your business is in the United States, it's registered in the United States, you can get business credit and funding. Even if you have a brand new startup with no revenue, even if you have bad personal credit, there's ways to get credit and financing. If you have no collateral, if you've previously been denied, and even if you're buying a new business, that's how simple this process is. That's how you use the exact same step-by-step -step blueprint all large companies use to get unlimited business credit. You just rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat those steps that I just talked to you about. Now, this is how you can access unlimited funding. So what you're gonna do is you're going to determine your strength. So there's three C's when it comes to lending and credit. It's either cash flow, your credit profile, or collateral. And what I mean by this is you can get approved for financing. There's financing options based upon cash flow. There's financing options based off of your credit profiles, your personal credit profiles, or your business credit profiles. If you're going the no PG route, they're gonna look at your business credit profiles only. If you're personally guaranteeing some things, they're gonna look at your personal credit and sometimes they will look at both business credit and personal credit. Also, you can get funding based upon collateral. So you could have paid off equipment that can be used as collateral for a new loan or a new line of credit. So in order to get funding, you have to have one of these three things. And if you have bad credit, again, you're going to leverage your business credit to get that no PG credit options. And even if you still have good personal credit and you don't want to continue to use your personal credit and rack up a bunch of inquiries, you still can do EIN only credit as well. You can start off getting credit, some credit with your personal credit, and then the rest of the credit you can get no PG just leveraging your business credit, but you can use that personal credit to jumpstart everything. So step two, determine the best financial funding programs. And that's gonna be based up off of the strength that you have, whether it's the credit, the cash flow, or the collateral. For example, if your strength is you do have cash flow, there are funding options that you can get based up off of your monthly revenue. So if you have cash flow, but your personal credit is still bad and you're still working on it, but you have cash flow, say for instance, you're making $15,000 per month or $150,000 a year, 
you can get options like Funbox. That's a line of credit that you can get with as low as a 600 credit score. So step three, find the best lender based off of your strengths, either cash flow, collateral, or credit. Or you could have two of those strengths, but you need at least one. Then get approved and get funded. So getting business credit and funding used to be hard, but not anymore with all the options out there, with all the new fintech companies coming out, with all the alternative lending options coming out, it's easier than ever. These approvals can be you if you follow the steps, if you make sure everything is done properly as far as your, your business setup, as far as making sure you have one of those three strengths that I just talked about. So that's how you access the funding you want. It's how you access unlimited funding. Secret one was the lender compliance becoming fundable so you can get automatic approval. Step two or secret two, the business credit blueprint. Secret three, get unlimited business funding and how to access unlimited business funding. Let me ask you a question. I know it's a lot to take in. The process may be overwhelming. Would you like my help? Would you like someone to help you get all this done quickly and help you get funded within less than 30 days? Start getting your first credit cards, your first lines of credit. It's easier to have someone help you than to spend a lot of time watching a lot of YouTube videos or going through all of the articles on the different websites and still not be able to understand everything that you need to know to get approved, would it be okay if I made a special offer to help you? Here's how I can help you get all the three secret solutions or access the three secrets of business credit and financing in one place. So earlier in the training, I gave you a little sneak peek of this software. This is our software. This is a demo account. I'm gonna show you how you can access everything that I just talked to you about in this training in one place and be able to get approved quickly for funding, all types of funding. This is how I was able to help a client get over 112,000 very quickly we did the same steps that I just talked to you about in this training. And everything is in this software that we have. The software helps you get qualified for funding. It helps you optimize your business credit reports as well as your personal credit reports. It tells you information that you need to know as far as how to optimize everything to get approved. It tells you how to make your business lender compliant. And then in step three, you can start accessing funding that is going to help you start building strong business credit reports. So we have over 200 banks as well as net 30 accounts. So combined, it's a combination of banks, net 30, net 60, net 90 accounts that you can use to get anything you need for your business with no personal guarantee. Again, as well as banks, banking information here on where they report to. So what business credit reporting agencies they actually report to, what business credit reporting agencies that they actually pull from so that you know which one they're gonna pull for you to get approved. They also, or we also have the information on the requirements from each account, each bank that we have in the system. We have the requirement information, the approval information. We have phone number that you can call. We have all the data for you to quickly be able to get approved and quickly be able to access the banks that actually report to help you build business credit. No PG account to help you build business credit. And some of these, you don't even have to make payments for 90 days, up to 90 days on some of the net accounts. So we start you off with the starter accounts. And then we move on to different categories. So if I start here in the starter accounts, so these are tier one accounts that you can start with, which means these are the easiest ones to get approved for, tier one starter accounts. Then we even have business credit lines with retail companies such as Amazon. As you can see here, we tell you who they report to and how to get approved. So we have over 200 vendors and credit cards in 
our database. They're only ones in this section that actually report to help you build strong business credit. So you have a big library of credit options that you can go through if you want to work with us and get access to this. And under the business credit card section, we have access to several different credit cards, bank issued credit cards, where we tell you how to get approved for those as well. So it's not just, again, net 30 credit cards or store credit cards. We also give you bank information as well on how to get approved. Not only do you get that, but once you start getting your accounts yourself, you can also come over here to access funding and we will help you get approved for other funding options. We have 20 different business credit and business financing options here that we will actually help you get ourselves. We'll actually go out and help you get approved. These are the different funding programs that we have access to. And we have access to over 200 lenders. So about 10 different lenders for each program. Merchant cash advances, real estate financing, fix and flip financing. You got SBA loans. We got access to revenue-based financing, different credit unions that give out lines of credit, business lines of credit, so on and so forth. We can actually do this for you. And when you click on one of these sections, like for example, business term loan, what you'll do is you'll get all of the requirements here. We'll tell you what you need to have to get approved. Of course, you should already know, which means you should have at least a six, so on and so forth. And then you'll fill out this funding program submission form and we'll contact you to help you start the process for us doing this funding for you to help you go out and get a business loan or any other funding option that you see here. Not only do we have that, we also have our online analysis section, which is going to be something that also could help you be more compliant with lenders because they are starting to also scan the internet or they've been doing it to scan the internet to see your online web presence to see if you are a credible business. And this goes along with your web listings such as Yelp, Google listings, so on and so forth. So we help you optimize your web presence and fix your NAP validation listings as well, which again, that, that is your Google listings, your Yelp listings and all of that. And then we give you information about how to sell your business if you wanna sell it, how to figure out what it's worth, how to sell it. And then in the bonus section, this is huge. This is huge. Listen to me, listen very closely. Nobody else has this. Nobody else has 3,000 vendors. No PG vendors. Now, the reason why this is in the bonus section is because some of these don't report, but they could be very beneficial to your business and offer different services for your business that your business may need that you can get on credit basis with these different companies for your business. So you may need marketing services. There's companies in here that will do marketing services for you, like paid advertising services, run Facebook ads for you or Google ads for you on a net 30 basis, a net 60 basis where you can get started with them and pay them later, 30 days later. So this is a bonus. One of the bonuses, you get access to 3,000 net 30, net 60, net business credit accounts that do not require a personal guarantee. This is a bonus because we want to make sure that you go through the whole system and start building your business credit and start getting funding and you get access to this extra bonus just as an incentive to get you to start building your credit, your business credit and accessing all types of funding here for your business. So this is why we say it's unlimited. You have unlimited resources here. You have 3,000 net 30 vendors, net 90, net EIN only credit lines that you can get from different companies. Then you have 20 different lending types here, 20 different types of financing that we can help you get. Then you also have the starter accounts, the vendor accounts that you can get that actually report that will start your business credit 
And also what I forgot to mention is some of these are not net 30. Some of these are revolving lines of credit that are no PG as well. And then you have bank issued credit cards here under general credit cards. And then you have optimizing reporting. And when you go through this, it's gonna either give you a green check if you have went through it and completed it, or if you have not completed it, you're gonna see a red X so you know exactly what you need to complete. And you wanna make sure that all of these sections are move on to the business credit section. That's how you know that you're going to get pre-approved for everything by having all of this completed. Also, we'll get access to a help desk where you can come over and get support Monday through Friday, or you can give us a call. And also depending on your schedule, you can also receive one-on-one -on -one coaching and some of these items will be done for you. So we're pretty much guaranteeing that you're going to see results because we're gonna work with you until you do. Then also another thing I forgot to mention is that this lady here is going to be also doing the virtual training throughout the system. So she explains each section to you. So if I click on check status, she will explain the section to you. So she's gonna explain each section to you and then you also have written, written information here that is also going to assist you with each step. So not only do you get phone support, one-on-one -on -one coaching, for 12 months, some items done for you, virtual training, you also get access to our funding options, our funding program where we do those funding options for you. And then another bonus I forgot to mention is, I was too excited about the 3000 vendors, is that we also give you five eBooks for free as well as additional training to really make sure that you understand everything. So that's a lot of value, all in one system and all in one program. So recap of what you're gonna get, you're gonna get that lender compliant valued at $3,853. You'll get 27 access to our business funding success program, help with setup of your business. If you don't already have that, we'll help you with the business name to make sure it's not high risk. We'll help you with setting up your entity type that lenders prefer the most. Assistance with getting your in for free from the IRS. Assistance with choosing the best in codes that is not high risk. Also help with selecting a business address to make sure you're credible. Assistance with choosing the best business phone number. Help with setting up your facts and other weird things that lenders want help with listing your business phone and preferred directories, assistance with setup of your website, know where to get a professional website for cheap under $300, help with setting up email, help with setting up licensing, online listing compliance, bank account, tracking your business credit scores, assistance with merchant accounts. So we show you where to get your merchant account so you can receive payments for your business. Also, you'll be able to get rid of not knowing what lenders really want, getting denied and not knowing why, trying and failing to get credit, trying to guess what you're supposed to have for your NAICS codes, trying to figure out how to set up a lender or a lendable business, chasing lenders, for pre-approval, spending thousands on websites, online, inconsistencies with your business presence, not being able to accept cards, and most importantly, save time and money by working with someone who has already been able to help a lot of other people get funding, build business credit, and get loans. You're gonna fast track your success, save a lot of time, and save a lot of money trying to figure things out on your own. By the way, you're not gonna be just working with me, but you'll be working with my business coaches who are very knowledgeable in this industry. We don't get any complaints about our business coaches who help assist with making sure your business is set up as well as coaching you through the whole process. We've helped all types of businesses. You're going to also get access to the business credit blueprint, which is that getting approved section that I showed you Valued at over $10,000, right now 
Right now, this is a total value of over $14,000. We'll help you with getting set up with DMB, Experian, Equifax, getting your BIN with Experian, which is your business identification number. But a lot of people didn't know that they even have a BIN. Set up your file with Equifax, help dispute any inaccuracies or negative items on your business credit report. We have a huge, large supply, bigger than a lot of companies offering to teach business credit and business financing. Most of them regurgitate the same information and they don't have access to total over 3,000 vendors as well as and credit cards, all the approval information as well. You'll get access to retail credit with no PG, fleet credit with no PG, also other credit cards with no PG, auto financing with no PG, advanced vendors with no PG. Those are gonna be tier four vendors who look at your business credit reports to be already established, but you don't have to worry about that because you're gonna get all of the vendor information to establish that strong business credit and then access to the approval guidelines and more. So you'll be able to not have to pay DNB to activate your reports because some people actually do that. Also, not have failing scores with Equifax and Experian, applying for your DUNS number and never actually getting it or not it's not showing up, it's not set up properly. We make sure that everything is set up properly so you can get those scores and reports starting to generate. Also getting credit and it not reporting because you're getting credit from places that don't actually report. Access to high limit cards, credit cards, fleet cards, no PG cards or no PG, yeah, no PG cards, no PG fleet lines of credit where you can actually get a fleet of cars under your business for your business without a personal guarantee strictly off of your business credit because you have built strong business credit profiles. Therefore, you wouldn't need a personal guarantee and they only check your personal, I mean, your business credit from places like Ali Financial, Ford, so on and so forth. And then most importantly, you'll be able to get fast results because you have all of the information that you need. And don't worry, business credit can pay for pretty much almost everything you need to buy for your business. Also, you get access to unlimited funding. This is over a $3,500 value. So far, the total value is over $17,000. And how you access unlimited funding is through all of those options that we have in the system as well as assistance from us to go through the other types of business financing that you can get such as the loans, equipment financing, revenue-based financing, and all of that. So that would be the cash flow and revenue financing. Even if you have bad credit startup financing, 0% interest credit cards, we have that in there as well. Equipment financing, equipment leasing with low payments, equipment lease back, securities financing. Sorry, I skipped ahead on accident or skipped back. 401 and RRA financing, inventory financing, e-commerce financing, real estate financing, house flipping financing, commercial vehicle financing, just all types of real estate financing, SBA loans, term loans, lines of credit from FinTech or private lenders. The possibilities are really limitless. You will get all of that that I just mentioned, plus you'll get coaching and support. Our business funding success program comes with support. We will not leave you hanging. You do not have to wait for an answer in a Facebook group to your question. You do not have to wait a week for a live Q&A call where everybody gets on and sometimes you may not even get your question answered. You're able to call us on the phone or speak to us on your coaching session because you do get 12 months of one-on-one -on -one coaching, access to some done-for-you services, which is helping with that lender compliance section as well as that funding, that done-for-you funding in the access funding section. And then we also have the help desk. Now, this is going to be some more major bonuses. So here's some unannounced bonuses that I didn't mention previously. So the first bonus is lifetime access 
to our monthly membership, which is called the 750 Academy. It's going to be the pro level membership where we provide you with custom letters if you have bad credit or if you just have some items that you want to get off of your credit to help boost your score up so that you can get access to more funding as well as information on how to build your credit by adding positive accounts that can boost your credit score 50 to 100 points. Bonus number two is access to free funding with business grants. Business grants is another way that you can access funding for your business, but this kind of funding is the funding that you do not have to pay back. Once you win a business grant, that is your money to use for your business without having to pay it back. It's not like a loan. It's a hundred percent free. So we give you access to that course that we have. And it also comes with 200 done for you bonuses, 200 done for you sorry, not bonuses, but done for you business grant opportunities, as well as a grant proposal template that will help you win grants as well as video training and more. Then bonus number three is five exclusives, exclusive eBooks on personal and business credit, which you saw in the system already. And then access to those 3000 no PG business credit vendors which you already saw access to in the system. These two bonuses, number one and number two, are separate courses. You'll get access to those separately if you sign up with us today. This is a total of over $4,000 in value for these free bonuses. You get these free when you sign up with us and start with our program to help you access business credit and other business financing options. So a recap of everything that you're gonna get, you're going to get the lender compliance blueprint that's in the system, the business credit blueprint that's in the system, the unlimited access to funding that's in the system, 12 months of coaching that comes with the system, as well as four bonuses. Some of those bonuses are already in the system and some of the bonuses, we give you separate access, separate login details to those but this is a total value of everything over $32,000 in value. Because who is going to coach you for a whole year? There are not many people that do things like that. And then I haven't seen anybody else with as many vendors, credit accounts, and bank information that we have. So when you sign up today, you'll be able to get rid of being denied for credit, not knowing how to get funded because you are a startup or not knowing how to get funding because you don't have collateral. Trying to find the right loans and credit lines that you can get now. You'll be able to get rid of all of the worry and the headache of trying to do everything by yourself, trying to find lenders that love your industry, trying to find lenders that overlook your risk because you're selecting high risk industry categories on your business credit applications trying to find money to start and expand or grow your business, not being ready to receive SBA loans and not getting the money you need when you need it. You're gonna get rid of all of that today if you sign up with us. Of course, you're gonna save time and money and you're going to be able to have one of these lending strips that we talked about, at least one in this video. You're gonna be able to have at least one of those and that's going to be the credit side so let us help you get compliant with lenders optimize your personal and business credit set up with your business credit reporting agencies we're going to help you with that getting those profiles set up let us help you with getting the best credit cards and no pg accounts to start with access to your business credit reports retail credit, fleet credit, cash credit, all the types of credit. We got you covered, auto finance, no PG, or you can do PG if you want to, and you can get that strictly under your business to where that's not reporting on your personal credit at all, as well as other different 20 types of funding that you can get now. But if all we did was set up your business to where it was credible and fundable to attract more customers, lenders, and credit issues, would it be worth it? Or if we could just help you build your business credit profile and make it easy to get unlimited credit, would that be worth it? Or if we just gave you access to every legitimate funding option, 
so you can get all the money you need to qualify or you qualify for on demand, would that be worth it? If all we did was just one of was just one of these three things, would it be worth it? I think it would be, but the huge advantage is that we do all three of these. So you only have two choices. The first option is to do nothing and not take the leap of faith, which is 100% risk-free. But the second option is to invest in yourself and in your business today for a small investment compared to the massive value you'll get in return and give it a shot as a ton of other entrepreneurs already have. Again, our system gives you everything you need all in one place. So you can get started today as a part of this training and enjoy a big discount and special bonuses for just one payment of only $2,999. Again, you're getting access to our entire software, plus four bonuses, support, training, and 12 months of coaching. And that's only for $2,999. The normal price would be $4,998. And actually we're going to be going up to that price again really soon because this is a lot of value. And we've done a lot of research and gathered a lot of data to be able to get all of this information to be able to assist serious business owners who want to be able to get access to 100,000 in as little as 30 days, as quickly as possible. And then after that, once they have their business established and their business credit established, they can access unlimited funding because they'll be able to get more and more funding once they continue to build their credit and build their business. Or you can choose a payment plan of two payments of $15.99 so it's a little bit more because we are financing this for you and we're gonna go ahead and give you access to the system with your first payment. So we are taking a risk if we do do a payment plan, but that's the first payment plan option. Or you can choose the second payment plan option, which is 900 down, and then you can pay six monthly payments of three. So we try to make this as affordable, affordable as possible. So the average business owner, even if they are just starting out, you can easily get funding to just take care of this and not even have to really worry about any payments because of our system and how we're able to help people get funding quickly. And so this is, this is a small investment compared to what you're going to be getting. As you saw earlier in the training, we were able to get someone over $100,000 within 30 days. So you're not gonna see this offer anywhere else. You have to take action right now today. There is gonna be a button below this video where you can go ahead and complete your order. Once you have completed your order, you're gonna receive access to the bonuses. You're gonna receive access to the system within 24 hours and you will get your first call consulting call also within 20 to 48 hours depending on if it's a weekend or not if it is a weekend that you are purchasing on you'll receive your first call on monday so thank you so much for watching this training i hope you receive value again if you are interested in this program in our business in our business funding success program take action now Click that button below this video, get started, get signed up, and we'll see you on the other side. We're happy to assist you. We're happy to help you get some funding so that you can either start your business or grow your business. We love helping entrepreneurs go to the next level with business funding and business credit.